Hello, and welcome to Advising 101. I want to take a few moments and help you understand eAdvisor and the courses required for you to take as a WP Carey student. What is eAdvisor tracking? eAdvisor tracking, also known as critical tracking, is a tool to help you stay on track and track your progress in your major during your first four semesters. Staying on track will ensure that you graduate in four years. In order to stay on track, you will need to follow your major map and take courses in the semester listed, achieve grades of C or better in your tr critically tracked courses, and maintain a 2.0 cumulative GPA in addition to meeting certain term-specific milestones. For scheduling purposes, it's very important to know what your current major is and the eAdvisor tracking requirements for it. When you log into your MyASU website, you will see the My Programs and eAdvisor box located on the right-hand side. There you will find your current degree program, your major map, as well as your current track status. If you are on track for your degree requirements, the text will show green and it will say on track. If you are off track, it will show in red and say off track. You can then click on this off track status to see what the critical requirements are and see what you are off track for. Now that you know where to find your major map, let's look at a sample one from our Bachelor of Arts concentration in communication. Although the major map outlines eight semesters, let's concentrate on the first two terms. First, you will notice that critically tracked courses are identified on the left-hand side with a diamond shaped and exclamation mark inside of it. These courses should be taken in the semester listed in order to help you progress with your course sequencing. All WP Carey students, regardless of their major, should be in CIS 105 and Math 210 during their first semester in order to be on track. Additionally, any courses that require a grade of C or higher are identified on your major map. The right-hand side also lists any additional notes and milestones that must be met. Now let's take a look at a few scenarios to help you better understand the eAdvisor track requirements in the WP Carey School of Business. Math is one of the most critical sequences in the business curriculum. All WP Carey students, regardless of their major, are required to complete Math 210, Math 211, and Economics 221. These courses are Brief Calculus, Business Math Analysis, and Business Statistics. Together they make up the math and statistics sequence for the business school. Depending on where you placed on the math placement exam, some students may begin their first semester in Math 110 or Math 117. Please note, however, though, all WP Carey students are required to complete Math 210 by the time they enter their third semester in order to avoid being off track twice and to remain in the business school. Students that begin in Math 110 should take Math 117 in their second semester and will be required to complete Math 210 in summer in order to remain in the business school. Your MyASU will continue to say you are off track until Math 210 is completed. Students that begin in Math 117 should take this class in their first semester and complete Math 210 in their second semester. These students will then have the option of taking Math 211 in summer to get back on track. Students that place into Math 210 but find that they receive a grade of a D or E or need to withdraw in their first semester should repeat this course in the immediately following semester in order to get back on track. These students will also have the option of taking Math 211 in summer in order to catch up. Passing your critically tracked courses with a grade of C or better is equally as important as taking them in the semester indicated on your major map. If you do not pass one of your critically tracked classes, it is also important to retake this class in the next semester in order to get back on track as quickly as possible. Retaking courses at ASU is the only way to ensure that your grade is replaced in your cumulative GPA. In this example, a student that receives a grade of a D or E or withdraws from Professor McCarthy's CIS 105 class 
must repeat it the next semester. Please refer to your major map to understand which courses you must receive a grade of C or higher in. There are several reasons why you could become off track, but a few of the most common reasons are listed on this slide. If you don't take a critically tracked class in the semester listed on your major map, it will indicate that you're off track. And additionally, withdrawing from one of your critically tracked courses or receiving a grade of D or E in a critically tracked course will cause you to be off track. Although, so, although it's possible to be off track once, if you are off track twice for the same reason, you will be required to change your major out of WP Carry. One example of being off track twice is if a student earns a grade of D in Math 210, repeats the course, and receives a grade of D on the second attempt. Two D grades in Math 210 is cause for dismissal from the WP Carey School of Business. If you find yourself in a situation that you are off track, you should work with your advisor to develop a plan to get on track. We highly encourage you to meet with your advisor once a semester, especially if you have questions about your track status. Together you will develop a plan to get back on track before being required to change your major out of the business school. This may include taking courses in summer, repeating classes, or taking action to fulfill a milestone requirement. If you are required to change your major out of business, a petition is required to request consideration to return to WP Carey. It is important to know that approvals for consideration are not guaranteed, which is another reason to ensure that you are staying on track in your degree program. Academic advisors are available for 30-minute in-person appointments as well as phone appointments, and they are also available for advising in our freshman residence halls of Hacienda and Sonora. Advising SOS is our online appointment system and is available to you 24 hours a day. From the convenience of your home office or your mobile device, you can schedule an appointment with your advisor, add a minor, request course overrides, and get more information about your academic program. This screen shows an example of what our Advising SOS system looks, on your mobile, looks like on your mobile device. In addition to scheduling an appointment with your academic advisor, Advising SOS will also allow you to schedule appointments with your career coach, as well as our study abroad coordinator if you are interested in taking courses outside of the country. Thank you for viewing our Advising 101 presentation and best of luck to you this semester.